Hey guys, I was thinking about doing a series of Android development tutorials for a while now. Uh, so, to get the things started, uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to write a uh, Hello World application in Android. So, you'll, you'll, this will be followed by a series of Android development tutorials uh, in the future. Uh, what is actually a uh, Hello World application, why we are writing? <clears throat> this is a normal normal convention in any language we used to write hello world application uh, this is just to get the feel of the development environment just to get an idea of what are the components what are the programs involved in developing uh, application in any language so in terms of android there are few components you need to develop your applications android is actually java and linux combination uh, Java on, Java is running on Dalvik optimized virtual machine on top of Linux. Uh, so we are actually writing, writing our codes in Java and we can do it in uh, like Flash. Uh, we can do it in Air. Uh, there are some other languages we can also use but Java is the native one. So we can use native codes, native Java codes in uh, Android application. So to think get the things started uh, you, uh, you need three things four things actually you need to have Eclipse it's a development environment uh, I integrated development environment uh, for Java uh, and uh, you need you have to install Java uh, JDK uh, Java runtime environment is not enough uh, you have to install JDK and this tutorial I'm going to do it in Ubuntu uh, I'm using Ubuntu 11.10 version in few days time I'm expecting 12.04 version but uh, maybe my next video will be on 12.04 I'm dying to upgrade it to the latest version so I'm um, today anyway uh, and the other thing is uh, other thing you need is Android SDK uh, and ADT plugin for Eclipse so I have po I'll post all the links uh, below the video so that you can download all those things and uh, let me show you you can first of all you have to download Eclipse you can go to eclipse.org and download Eclipse uh, this will download Eclipse uh, you can choose Eclipse for Java AE developer or Java developer uh, this I, you can choose any of these and uh, it's actually a tar file you just have to download and extract it to one of the directories in your computer and uh, and uh, I already downloaded that and uh, let me show you I have copied that directory to my opt directory here you can see my Eclipse directory and uh, this is uh, this is what I have downloaded it's a tar file I have extracted it to Eclipse directory if you go to Eclipse directory and uh, you sh uh, should be able to see the Eclipse uh, executable I'm just going to execute Eclipse just going to load up Eclipse uh, basically you don't have to uh, do any any of the installation here in Linux you just have to copy extract it and run it probably you might need if you are uh, if you're not if you're copying it to an, any other directory other than your home folder you might need to give the permission to the uh, retry uh, execute permission to the directory you have copied so anyway I'm doing some developments in Android so these are the open projects in the previous time uh, let me clo close this okay this is the Android development and uh, Eclipse IDE for developing Android application this this IDE usually usually uh, used to develop Java and even many other languages later on uh, and Google decided to use the same IDE and uh, you can download a plugin for this IDE to develop Java uh, develop Android applications and the second thing you need is to download Android SDK uh, you can download this you can go to developer.android.com uh, slash SDK and download this this version um, since I'm using Linux I'm I'm gonna download this version 
so if you are using windows you can download uh, this, uh, there are two versions for windows i highly recommend download the installer program and the other thing is ADT plugin for Eclipse once you download and install SDK you can download uh, ADT plugin for Eclipse this will enable you to develop Android application using Eclipse development environment the other uh, before do anything else uh, you have to do you have to install Java SDK in your computer Java runtime environment wouldn't be enough so to make sure you have Java installed you can type Java open up a terminal and write Java version and if Java is installed in your computer it will list, uh, show you the version um, so I have already installed if you want to install Java in Ubuntu maybe first of all you can do this uh, you can search for Java package PT open JDK open JD yeah here we, uh, it will search all the repositories and list uh, list down uh, available package uh, you can download the latest version open JDK 7 sorry guys so, let me copy this out and hit enter uh, since I already installed it will uh, it says that uh, I have the latest version installed already otherwise uh, it will be about 157 meg uh, download so it will take time some time depending on your connection speed after you download Java uh, then download Eclipse and uh, download this extractor uh, uh, SDK for Android so let me show you I have copied everything this is the downloaded version of SDK Android SDK Eclipse Eclipse I have already extracted both directories I both files I have extracted so this is actually Android uh, let me go to Android extracted directory and uh, initially when you download that file it doesn't install any of the SDKs in your system it install it gives you a bunch of tools uh, under tools directory uh, where you can download Android SDKs uh, you, you have to go to tools directory and fire up this Android update SDK it will open up uh, Android SDK manager where you can download whatever SDKs whatever the sample programs anything you want related to Android from Google developer dot uh, developer dot Android uh, website so it's uh, searching the repositories so after it finishes it will list down all the available and install packages in your system you have to wait for a while there are few versions of uh, Android available today uh, the latest latest version is 4.0.4 this is ice cream sandwich version and there are a hell of a lot of other versions for Android uh, what I recommend is you download all the versions all the SDKs and sample programs to your computer if you have time because you might here uh, it will open up a window let me cancel this see since I have already installed some of the APIs uh, uh, you can see it's installed uh, I have installed all the JD uh, SDKs starting from one point uh, let me go down 
starting from 1.5 i think yeah i have downloaded all the uh, sdks because since i have downloaded this i can write applications for any platform uh, when you i i can i'll show you when you create a project uh, in eclipse it will ask you what platform you want to develop it for so you can uh, if you install all the platforms you can depending on the device you targeted you can select appropriate uh, sdk to be used in your program okay all right uh, so if you don't uh, if you do it uh, do this in uh, first time uh, you might need to uh, there are two new installation packages maybe you will get about 30 in the first time you can download all the things uh, to your local computer all right let me close this up i have my now every uh, the other thing the last thing you need is edit tool and this is a plugin for uh, eclipse you just have to download it uh, to do download uh, this installation plugin uh, actually you have to download this plugin inside eclipse first of all you have to copy this url and fire up eclipse this up what you have to do is go to install software go to help install software and paste your uh, URL you copied from developer.android website in here and it will scan and tell you so these are the development tools you might you need so you, you can select this and press next and install the android development tool so since i have already installed that one um, i don't have to install it again uh, but it's very easy uh, i'll uh, you can do this thing let me cancel this the other thing is uh, the good thing is android development tool it comes with uh, emulators you can test your programs before actually run it in an actual device you can test it on emulators uh, in here avd manager you can create avd managers for android uh, virtual device managers for uh, targeted platforms so i already have created uh, avd for latest version of android ice cream sandwich if you want to add a new one uh, let me fill, tell android let me create one for android 2.3 gingerbread uh, since i have installed all the apis uh, i can see it in eclipse so i'm going to choose android 2.3 and you can select the size of your SD card I'm gonna give it 1 GB um, and the display size also you can choose I'm gonna leave it as default and uh, you can click on this uh, uh, you can click on this snapshots because uh, when you run when you start emulator android uh, avd avd emulator it takes initially it takes some time and uh, in subsequent open uh, subsequently when you open adk you if you click on a snapshot it will load up from the saved cache so it will fast uh, boot faster so i'm going to tick this and it says avd name and it, you can't put actually spaces or anything I'm gonna 2.3. So I'm gonna create this AVD. Normally it takes some time. We'll wait.
if you have uh, actual android